Hello everybody, my name is Austin Endo here and today I am going to show you how to fix the graphic problem on Far Cry 1. So this problem occurs when the renderer is not supported on our GPU. So my GPU is Intel HD graphics at uh, 128 MB which is uh, very low <laughs> in my frank opinion. As you can see here, the graphic is gone totally and everything seems to be very foggy and bluish and yeah in this video I'm going to show you how to fix this problem without any patches yes guys without any patches so let's get started so let me show you one more screenshot over here uh, that this problem is there and uh, I can't do the recording of the game because my recorder, you can record it, does not support gaming recording. So yeah, I have to re remove some screenshots and just to show you. So as you can see here guys, my graphic is on high, very high, yeah. And this problem occurs. As you can see guys, the renderer over here is direct 3D9, which is not supportable for our graphic card, our GPU. And most of the cases this thing happens guys. So let's get started. So the first thing which you all have to do is you do not need to download any of the files, any patches, nothing. Just what you all have to do is go to computer, your system drive, then go to program files 86 then you will find a you, you will get a folder named ubisoft so click on it crytek far cry and here as you scroll down you will you will get a you will get a file named system.cfg now this folder now this file we can't actually open like that only so what we have to do is select it and right click on it and you will find the option open with so click on it and as you can see and you have to select your notepad because uh, it opens only with notepad also you can select microsoft word and word, wordpad also but i would recommend opening it with notepad so let's select it and it will open so now the next step what we have to do is press Ctrl plus F Ctrl plus F which will pop out this section which is find Ctrl plus F so you have to find a section named drivers sorry driver so you have to type down D R I V E R driver in this much so and find next or press enter so as you can see guys we have got the driver as we searched and as you can see the renderer this is the renderer which is direct 3d9 which is not supportable for a PC so what we are going to do is select it and press backspace and type there open GL so we have changed our renderer now it is not it is now no more direct 3d9 but now it is opengl which is supported for our graphic card so by changing the renderer we can get our graphics back so after putting the renderer which is the driver driver press ctrl plus s and it will save the file or simply go to file and save so we are done here guys so let's just go back and we are done for you I will be showing the screenshots uh, in my video at the ending of my video I will be showing the screenshots that uh, this trick works 100% and uh, if this thing works for you please uh, share 
comment and uh, leave a thumbs up behind uh, if it doesn't work uh, if it doesn't work please uh, you, know, you are you have the full right to give a uh, dislike for it and uh, i have uploaded a playlist named land of the dead so if you wish to please uh, check my channel and uh, check out my playlist of land of the dead it is a very nice game a horror game and uh, i've been uploading videos since 5 days for it so yeah please check it out and uh, thank you so much for watching my video i am austin indo here and i'll see you guys in my next video take care everybody hello everybody i am austin indo and i am back with the screenshots after the open gl settings as you all can see guys over here the render is no more direct 3d9 but it is open gl now so yeah now the problem is fixed for sure as we have changed the driver in the farka directory as we have done it so let me show you the graphics the graphics are on very high setting and uh, here are the here are some screenshots of my game as you can see guys the graphics are back everything is back now normal no problem at all so all the issue was on the rendering the direct 3d9 renderer did not support so on doing that process which i showed you on the post it will fix everything as you can see guys the graphics are back so that's it for now thank you guys for watching i hope you liked it please leave a thumbs up behind and uh, subscribe for, uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet uh, please do subscribe for more upcoming walk throughs let's plays and uh, and uh, more videos like this fixes of games etc so i'll take my leave now thank you everybody again once again and uh, take care everybody